Hey viewers, welcome back. This is me, Hassan Slim. Today we're gonna learn about a very important topic that is arrays. Today we will discuss about multiple or types of arrays. One of them is one-dimensional, second one is multi-dimensional, and another one is jagged array. So for that purpose, let me make the button over there. Copy there by Control C and V. Now go to source code. <coughs> Here I define one dimensional array. The syntax of one dimensional array is as follow data type of an array angle brackets or square braces the name of the array and the number of elements you want to store in that array another way to declare is if you don't want to specify the number of elements you can do like that and here you can write any number of elements just like here it now four elements are stored in that particular named array and here I can I can store only five elements and here if I do like do this it is restricted that I have to input five elements now you can see there is no error that's a one dimensional array If I want that, all of the elements stored in that particular array show me in the text message box. I can use for each loop for that purpose. Here I need to declare another variable. And here is the name of the array. Now, all of the elements stored in X is one by one come in M, and I can use it by using here I declare another string variable result. now here what are you gonna do result plus is equal to m dot to string plus and here I add some spaces now what I want whenever I click on that button it should display message box dot show result here you can see when I work on uh, when I compile this program here is the elements that are stored in that particular array now without wasting any more time let's talk about multi dimensional arrays the syntax of that is here I'm also for the for example I'm using int again in the multi-dimensional you can use character whatever you want to store to declare multi-dimensional array we need separator if I include one separator then it is, mean it is a two-dimensional array if I place two separator then it means it's three-dimensional array I'm using two two 
2 by 2 it's it would be the 2 by 2 matrix now what I need to do here I am setting up the value One second. N name of the array I type to dimension is equal to new int I'm sorry that's the right format and that's the right format the declaration the name of the array new int to create a new object of the array and here we will size, determine the size as we declare in the one dimensional here and here I am adding the element these elements are the our first row and that's the second row and I just want that it displayed in that specific format for that purpose I just go to the second button code and here I'm also using for each int m in two dimension here I'm using the same thing string res result now res dot is equal res is equal to m dot to string plus well I forget to place plus sign over there now you can see all of the elements of the two dimension array now we're gonna talk about jagged array without wasting any more time let's talk about jagged array jagged array now let's talk about jagged array the format of jagged array or the syntax of jagged array is as follows: we will add Secure braces in that particular format is it and the name jacked name of array is equal to new int now here in a jacked array every element of an array is an array every element of an array is an array in other words you can say that it is an array of arrays it is an array of arrays here you can see each element contain new array each element contain new array each element contain each element in array here this array is the first element of a jack array and this array is the second element of the jack array now to get the values of these arrays what I need to do if I use let's create another now to call it using for each variable for each loop I need to declare an other an other array in jagged array because each element of an array is an array that 
that's why I declare an array over there now uh, I use loop within loop I need to declare an another for each and here I declare int x in R now what's happened what what will happen over there whenever this array will comes in that particular array as a one element of a jack array then inner loop will execute it and the each element of that array will come in x and what I gonna do I'm just adding up result plus is equal to x dot to string plus and here I am adding some spaces now outside of outer loop I declare the message box result now let's start it now you can see there is the element of second array first array uh, single dimension multi dimension and a jacked array hope you like my video it may be helpful for you now don't forget to subscribe we gonna we gonna make more projects so stay tuned and stay blessed thank you